Inside this video, I'm going to give you a complete step-by-step system.io tutorial. This is going to be the complete guide to system.io for beginners. It's going to go from A to Z, step-by-step. -step. There's going to be nothing left out inside this tutorial, so stick around for everything to come. I'm going to be breaking down this tutorial to nine different steps. We're going to start off with the basics of what is system.io, and then we're going to go all the way to actually how to make money with system.io using affiliate marketing. And in between, we're going to learn about email marketing, how to use the dashboard, and things like building funnels. So let's start off with the first question, what is system.io? If you're unfamiliar with system, what it is is an online business suite for entrepreneurs. So if we look at the homepage, system.io is not only a sales funnel builder, it's actually more than that. It has email marketing software built in so you can send emails create automations and send out newsletters to your audience. It also has an online course builder. So this replaces things like ClickFunnels or Kajabi or Thinkific because it has that in-house course building software. It also allows you to build websites like blogs and different things. So it replaces things like WordPress. And it has affiliate program management. So if you want to build out a course and then have affiliates promoting that course, you can offer an affiliate structure inside of system.io. And it also has marketing automations like email marketing automation, which we will get to later on inside this video. So who is system for? So system is gonna be for people like course creators or affiliate marketers or freelancers, consultants or small business owners, people that need easy to use and easy to understand marketing software all in one place. And that's exactly what system.io is. It's a suite of different marketing softwares inside of one program. So you're probably wondering how much this system costs. So if we take a look at the pricing tab right here, you'll see that there are four different plans for system.io. The free plan is actually what they call their free forever plan. This is going to give you 2000 contacts, unlimited amounts of emails, three sales funnels, 10 sale funnel pages, one blog, and all kinds of other features inside of this free forever plan. So as long as you don't go over 2000 contacts in your email list, you're pretty much good for this free forever plan. After that, you have the startup plan that runs you about $27 per month. That's gonna allow you to have 5,000 different email contacts. Then we go up to bigger ones. So then you have the webinar. This allows you to do evergreen webinars at $47 per month. And it also allows you to have 10,000 email subscribers. And then the unlimited is only $97 per month. And that's going to give you unlimited everything. So unlimited email contacts, unlimited amount of sales funnels, unlimited amount of blogs and blog posts and courses. So it's basically going to unlock the entire software for you. If you're familiar with the competitor to system, which is ClickFunnels, you'll know that ClickFunnels starter plan actually starts at $97 per month. That $97 per month is the same amount as the unlimited plan for system.io. So you're getting a whole lot more inside of this software than compared to a software like ClickFunnels. Now that you know the features and the pricing for system, now it's time to sign up for their free plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down below this video inside the description. And all you have to do is click on that link. It takes you to this page and then just put in your email address and that gets you started for free. Once you put in your email address, then it's going to show you a thank you page. And then after that, you can log into the dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account right now. I'm going to click on sign in and then log in. Now I'm inside of the dashboard for system.io. And as you can see here, there's a number of different tabs at the top and we're going to go over all of those step by step. So the first one is going to be your dashboard. Dashboard. You have your main dashboard, your affiliate dashboard, and then the marketplace. That's going to be a bunch of different courses and stuff that are offered by system themselves to teach email marketing, affiliate marketing, and different kind of topics in the marketing world. Then you have your contacts here. This is going to be where all of your email marketing contacts are stored, as well as your tags. Then we go over to funnels. This is going to be where all of your funnels are going to be held. That could be an email opt-in page. That could be a course funnel. That could be an affiliate marketing funnel. There could be all kinds of different funnels inside of here. This is also going to be where your evergreen webinar funnels are if you have that more expensive plan. Then this is going to be where all of your emails are stored. So your newsletters, your campaigns, and your email statistics. So that's going to contain your open rates and your click rates all inside of this tab right here. 
Then we have the blog section. This is gonna be where all of your blogs are stored if you decide to create blogs using the system.io software. Then we have email automations. This is where you're gonna create your automations step-by-step. Step. You're gonna create rules, or you can work with drag and drop workflows inside of the automation section. Then you have the product and sales. So this is going to be where all of your different coupons, your orders, your transactions, if you're selling any kind of products inside of system. And as you can see at the bottom of this tab is going to be your affiliate program. So if you're running affiliates for your courses, then this is where all your affiliate information is going to be stored. So now that you're familiar with the dashboard of system, let's go ahead and move on to the meat of this video and create a funnel inside of system. So what I'm going to do is click on the funnels tab right here. This is going to be where all of your different funnels are stored. And for this video, I'm going to be creating an opt-in funnel. So what we're going to do here is exit out of that. And I'm going to click on the create button right here. This is going to allow us to create funnels inside of system. So what I want to do is I want to build an audience. So you can do things like sell a product, you can build a custom uh, funnel from scratch, or you can run an evergreen webinar inside of this funnel section. So first thing is we're going to name it. I'm going to call this test opt-in funnel. And then after that, I'm going to click on build an audience and then hit create. This is where all your templates are going to be stored for your funnel. So you can create either custom templates or you can use the templates that are already provided for you by system. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and look for one that works for us. So I want a very simple and straightforward email opt-in page. So I'm going to go with this one right here. So I'm going to select it. And then that's going to be our template for this funnel. After that, you can name it. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this test opt-in. And then we can uh, customize the URL path. So as you can see here, they're gonna use your username inside of system as the URL, and then you can customize the back end. So I would call this test. After that, we click on the little edit button right here, and this is going to allow us to edit the page step by step. So we can change the font of this. We can change whether or not it's bold or the color. So I'm going to go ahead and make this into a headline. So we're going to go ahead and select it all, delete it, and I'm going to say um, sign up for our free email course. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this once again. I'm going to change the font to something that looks a little bit better. And because this is our headline, I'm actually gonna make everything bold. So I'm gonna click on the B to make it bold. Then I'm gonna go down to the sub headline and take out this video because it's an email course and not a video course. We don't want that in there. And that's gonna be great for this whole section here. So we have our headline and our sub headline. Now we're gonna move down to this video and I'm gonna click on the edit button. If you notice, this little settings tab comes up. So we're just gonna click on that settings tab go over here, scroll down, and you can actually edit the button text. So I'm just gonna say, send me the training. So I'm taking away video, and it's just gonna be the training. You can change the different colors of this. So if I wanna change the color of the button to be maybe red, then I can change this background right here and make it red. Send me the training. Then what we're gonna do is change the background. So I don't want this mountain in the background, so I click on it to highlight it and I go down and I hit X on this image. That's gonna remove the background and then I'm gonna add a color. So I'm gonna add blue as our color and leave it just like this. Now that we have the design set for our email opt-in page, now we're gonna go ahead and do the settings. So I'm gonna click on settings here in the top left and I'm gonna scroll down until I see the SEO optimization. This is where you're going to name your email opt-in page. So I'm gonna just call this email opt-in test and then after that, you can add a description if you'd like or keywords for uh, Google SEO. And then you can add an author or a social image that's going to appear at the top of the tabs when somebody has this email opt-in page open. After that, we can check out what it looks like on mobile by clicking on this phone right here. And as you can see, this is what it's going to look like on a mobile screen. Now that we have our email opt-in page built, I'm gonna go ahead and click on save settings and that's going to save it for us. And then I'm gonna click on this exit button to go back to this settings page right here. Now that we've finished our squeeze page, now it's time to move on to the thank you page inside of this email opt-in funnel. So I'm gonna click on thank you and then I'm gonna click on this simple thank you page right here, select that. Once I've selected that, you can name it. So I will go ahead and name this thank you test 
And then after that, click on save and then go down to the edit button so we can edit the thank you page. Once we're on the editor for the thank you page, I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of this stuff. So delete this because we don't need it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this the way it is because our thank you page is going to be very simple. We just want them to check their email so that they get their free email course. So then we're gonna go ahead and hit save changes and then exit once again. Now we're back to the settings page for this funnel. And what we're gonna do is actually add automation rules to this squeeze page. So click on squeeze page and then go to automation rules. This is going to allow us to create rules that happen once somebody enters their email address into this funnel. So click on add rule. And then we want to do funnel step form subscribed. So click on that one. After we have that, we uh, add an action to that. For this example, I'm just gonna click on add a tag. And if I had created a tag already, I could just choose this tag from the dropdown and it would automatically assign that lead to that tag using this automation rule. But that is how you would add automation rules to your email opt-in funnel. I'm just gonna hit back and then we're gonna go back to the squeeze page here. Now it's time to actually view our funnel. So what we're gonna do is click on view this funnel and this is going to open up the live version of the funnel that we just created. So if you wanted to test it out, you could just enter in your name and email and you could see that your name and email would actually appear inside of the lead section of that funnel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. Put in David and then I'll put in an email address. Then I'm gonna click on send me the training. Once I do that, as you can see, the thank you page popped up. So we'll go back into system.io and then we'll go to the lead section. And as you can see, here is the email that I just put in inside of this funnel step and it's actually storing the leads for us automatically. So then we could actually go over to contacts and take a look at our contacts. So here it is right there inside of the contacts. And if you wanted to add a tag to that contact, we could go over to this drop down and click on tags and then we can actually create a tag for that. So I would add a new tag and we would call this tag email opt-in test because that was the funnel that the contact went in through. Then I would click on save and that would create us a tag for that contact. Then all we would have to do is go back over to our funnels, click on the one that we were working on and go back to the automation rules and add a tag like I showed you guys previously. Now that we've built funnels inside of system.io, now it's time to talk about how to send emails inside of system. So go ahead and click on emails and then newsletters. This is going to be where you're gonna create your newsletters to go out to your email lead. So I would go ahead and click on create a newsletter. Once that opens up, I'm going to add a subject for this newsletter. So I'm just gonna say affiliate course. That's going to be the subject of this email. Then I have all my information and we're going to go with the classic editor for creating this newsletter. I'm going to hit create. That will bring us to the email creation page that looks like this. You can go ahead and edit your subject again. You can add a body to your email or you can edit settings over here. So if we want to say send to contacts that registered over two days ago or zero days ago. If you want to send it to all your contacts, you can do those settings right there. And then once we're done, we can save and schedule that newsletter or we can save and send a test email. Now that you know how to send emails inside of system.io, now let's go ahead and talk about how to create an automation. So go over to automations and click on workflows. This is where we're going to create our automation step-by-step. -step. So hit the create button and that's gonna lead us to name our workflow. So I'm just gonna call this test and then I'm gonna hit create. This is going to send us to the workflow area. So we're gonna go ahead and hit edit and then it'll open up the drag and drop filter. So this is where we're going to create the trigger. So you have some kind of trigger that launches this automation workflow. So create the first trigger. You can choose between all kinds of different triggers. So that could be tags added, tags removed, subscribed, webinar, anything like that. So we're gonna do funnel form subscribed and we're going to select it. So we're gonna go with one that we created earlier, which is going to be the squeeze page, and then we're gonna hit create. Now we can add a new step to the workflow. So go ahead and hit plus. You can choose between action, decision, or delay. So if we want to add a period of time for this workflow to rest, we can hit delay, and then we can say one day delay. 
create that and it'll add that weight for one day. After that, you can add another one here. So we wanna do an action. We're gonna choose an action and we could actually apply a tag. So we'll do that and then we'll select the email opt-in test tag and hit create. You can do that with all kinds of different actions. So you can send off emails, you can start automation campaigns, you can enroll them in a course, you can give them a split action decision. So if they open up an email, you can send them one way. If they choose not to open up an email, you can send them another way. There's so much that you can do inside of the automations for system.io. Now that we've covered the main functions inside of the software, let's go ahead and talk about affiliate marketing because you can actually become an affiliate for system.io once you start an account. And you can find that under dashboard and then affiliate dashboard. This is going to be where all of your leads are collected as an affiliate as well as your sales. You can scroll down here and you can go ahead and copy and paste your affiliate link and promote it anywhere that you'd like on social media sites, on your blog or on your YouTube channel. And this is where all that affiliate information is going to be found. You also have something called marketplace offers inside of system.io. This allows you to promote these different courses in order to make money. So you just click on one of these courses. And as you can see, you get 40% commission on this email marketing course. And this is how much the commissions have been earned in the past 30 days of people promoting this offer. Thanks for watching this tutorial on system.io. I hope you got some good value from this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. And if you want to test out system.io for yourself, go ahead and click on the link down below this video and you can sign up for a free account. I do recommend system as a funnel builder and an email marketing software. There's tons of good features inside of this software and it's really great, especially for beginners who are on a budget but need a funnel building software to get their business going. System.io fills that niche completely. If you wanna see more videos on affiliate marketing and how to make money online, go ahead and click on the videos that are coming up on the screen now. I'm David and I will see you guys inside of my next video.